welcome to Horn Trader on YouTube. Today my special guest in the year 1936, a New York Bach large bore coronet. Uh, the model number says it's an 11-62, so it's the 11 bell, and uh, 62 refers to the bore size, 462, so it's a large bore. It's got the 110, see me a picture of that in there, 110 lead pipe. You can see it on the receiver. And uh, that's a little bit more open than the 16, 106. And here's the engraving on the bell. And you can see it says 1162. And right in here somewhere is the number 45. And uh, that was Vincent's way of uh, uh, denoting the, uh, the gauge of the brass. 18 thousandths is what that relates to by somebody's mathematic genius and it is quite a um a, a thin bell very nice playing horn still got great pop everything pops works um water key uh it'd be darn near perfect except it has a little wear patch right here you can see it Right here at the bell crook. Must have been because uh, the, the trumpet player is trying to hold it like the old Louis Armstrong poster, like that. Uh, I've looked down the bell. I don't see um, any holes. It's, I'm pretty sure it's a wear patch. Um, it comes with the original case. These look like original pads to me. All the uh, pistons have um, uh, the uh, serial number engraved on the spring barrel. Uh, and they all have uh, uh, brass valve guides, you can see, and the brass valve guides are even stamped one, two, and three. And uh, that was a sure quality control. It's a very fine playing horn. Like I said, it's a large bore. It's easy blowing. It's a fun little horn to play. You can find this in the coronet section of horntrader.com. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.